Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this complete tutorial video I'm going to walk you through how to add baby to the LSP uh, Buckets of Joy digital backgrounds. These were shot by Anna Brandt and the bundle contains four different buckets. You have Glitterati, this one is my favourite, Poinsettia, Adorned and Simple. Each bucket has a beautifully textured background and its own personality. You will need Photoshop installed to be able to open these. So go ahead, open up Photoshop and choose the bucket file you wish to edit. You can choose from Simple, Adorned, Poinsettia or Glitterati. And you will notice here in the Layers panel, you have three separate layer options open for you. You have the base layer, which is the bucket. You have an optional glitter overlay, which you can turn on or off by clicking in the little box here to turn on an eye icon. So on or off. And you have a layer saying your baby here. This is where you need to add your baby image in. If you can't see your layers panel, come up here to window and choose layers. You can also change your workspace. I like to use the essentials workspace up here. On the Glitterati you have an, another layer right on the top called the Flower Over Baby. That's this flower here and it's there in place um, above your baby layer just to make sure if you add baby in they automatically fit behind this. It saves you masking. So that's just a little added extra in there. Again you can turn the glitter on or off for a completely different effect. Let's glitter on and off. And glitter on and off. This is the complete video tutorial. I'm going to move nice and slowly through this video. If you're already used to LSP digital backgrounds and you want to get straight chuck stuck in, then please do watch video number two where I move a lot faster. So in this video tutorial, I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud, but you can use any of the more recent versions of Photoshop to edit in if you want to. Step one, make sure you have downloaded the LSP Buckets of Joy uh, files from the website after purchase and save them somewhere safe and easily accessible on your computer. Step two, open up Photoshop and come up here to File Open, locate the Buckets of Joy um, image files on your computer, your downloads, and choose which one you want to use, or you can open all of them if you want to. This will open up into Photoshop and look a little something like this. And here you have the layers. Make sure your layers panel is visible. Step three, you need to edit the baby image first. So decide which image of baby you're going to place in. And if you haven't already um, edited the skin, you need to do that first. I'm going to be using the LSP Add Baby and Newborn Digital Photoshop Actions. You can use these for all digitals. Um, I use them for all digital images. They make my life so much easier. But you can also add baby by hand too. These actions are not included with your download of the buckets, but you can find them on the LSP website at lspactions.com. But I'm also going to talk you through how to do it by hand as well if you don't want to get the actions. So first step is to make sure you click on the orange place your baby here. This is the same for all the buckets. You'll have the orange place your baby here. So make sure this one is selected. Step two, if you're adding by hand, come up here to file and choose place embedded. And then you can go ahead and find the baby image on your computer and hit place. But I'm going to be using the actions. So find the baby here, hit place. At this point, you need to make sure the light in your baby image is coming from camera left to suit the light in the bucket image. There's no worse giveaway when editing a digital background than the light coming from the wrong direction. If the light is coming from the wrong direction in your baby image, right click and choose flip horizontal. So resize the baby to fit if you're adding by hand um, and hit enter. Because I'm using the actions, it's going to do that for me so I can just this has gone transparent because of the actions. Um, if you're placing normally, you will have to kind of um, do this yourself. Because baby is already on a stuffer, I'm going to be cutting this area out too. So I'm just going to adapt her here and hit the tick. At this point, if you're added, um, editing by hand, you're going to want to add a layer mask now. 
a layer mask is this little box that is attached to your um, image layer here. So let me just get rid of that for a moment. You can add a layer mask by coming down here. The little uh, the little box with a square, um, a circle in it looks a bit like the Japanese flag. You can click this one and it will add a white layer mask to your image. If you're using the actions, it will add a black layer mask, which hides everything. Layer masks are a little bit like scratch card. Black hides, white shows. So you can use a black or a white brush to go somewhere in between. Next up, select your brush tool, black or white, depending on whether you want to show or hide. And I like to have this set to around 50%. If you're using the actions, you can start painting the baby in. If you're not using the actions, you can basically start painting the background away. It's kind of the opposite effect. So I'm just loosely masking baby in now, and then I'm going to zoom in nice and close and refine this selection. To do that, I'm going to switch over to a black brush. I like to edit with my finger on the X key um, when I'm using the brush tool, because X will make you uh, flip between black and white. And this is really easy. Um, kind of essential really when masking because you don't want to keep going over to the bottom of the toolkit and clicking that's going to take you a lot of time um, and be quite frustrating so make sure that you learn the keyboard shortcut of x when it comes to masking because it will make your life so much easier so once you are roughly happy with the cutout and the masking um, i'm going to show you how i like to refine the selection around the hair now so zoom in nice and close you see on the original, Baby has some tufty hair sticking up, and I'd like to try and preserve some of that. There are several ways you can do this. Um, if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop or Elements, please do go on YouTube and search something like uh, Refine Hair Selection, and you'll find loads of different types of tutorials on there. For Photoshop Creative Cloud, I'm going to um, come up here, you can hold down Control and click on your layer mask to give you your exact selection of what you've cut out. The next step would be to come up here and choose Select and Mask. This will create or refine your selection. Over here on the left, you will see there are some little brush options. Click the middle one. This is the Refine Edge Brush. And this will start, um, as long as your image is the right resolution, this will start picking up some of the hair selections. So when you layer mask, grab your white brush. At this point, I like to lower the flow or the opacity down a little bit and just start stroking this on to start um, allowing those little hairs to show through. You may find different things work for different shots um, depending on what your shot looks like. So it's worth to learn a few different techniques uh, when working with digital backgrounds. So I'm just refining this selection a little more. And once you're happy with your selection, you can continue on with the edit. Um, and you can always go back because you've shot, um, you've added a layer mask. Sorry, you can always go back and refine the selection even more as you go. So once you are happy with baby's position in the bucket and your masking, just let me get rid of that area there. You can continue on to the next step, which would be um, editing baby or the background to blend together a little more. And this involves adding shadows under baby in the natural places. Um, and also to the bucket or the digital if you need to, just to make the two blend together. There are several ways you can do this. I like to add clipping masks onto baby um, using adjustment layers. If you're using the actions, it will do all of this for you. You don't have to worry about any of it. If you're editing by hand, you can add a clipping mask by selecting the baby. Add an adjustment layer down here. You see there's a circle with a line through it. So click on this one and choose which adjustment layer you would like to add. For shadows, um, levels and curves work really well. So you can add this in and you will notice when you make the adjustment, the whole image will change. So what you need to do is right click the layer and choose create clipping mask. And what this will do, and little arrow will appear, it will only now affect baby. And more importantly, it will only affect the mask. So now you can see if I'm darkening or lightening, it's only affecting the baby layer, it's not affecting the bucket. So if you want to darken the baby, you can pull your curves down. Control or Command I to invert this to make it all black. And then grab a white brush and paint on. 
Oh, make sure it's soft. You can see there, I'm adding some shadow in. If you want to add shadow to the background underneath baby, you need to click the background first. Again, add curves. You don't need to clip it on this time because it's under the baby. So you'll see now it's just affecting underneath the baby. Add some shadows. Click the layer mask, control or command I to invert. And now you can, and you can double click any time on the curves and darken it down, change it. But I'm going to get rid of these because I'm going to use the LSP, um, the actions to edit with. So for the actions, I'm going to click add the main baby editing layers and it will just do it all for me. I don't need to worry about clipping masks or curves or anything like that. Let me just pull this out a little bit so you can see. So first of all, we have gentle shadows under baby. So I'm going to make sure I click the layer mask and start adding some of these in. Please pay attention to where you think shadows would naturally fall in the image under the baby. So I'm going to add a few little shadows all the way under here. But obviously this side is closer to the light, so there would be less shadows there. There would be more shadows coming down here. And if they're too strong, if everything's too strong, you can use a black to hide. So just use your own discretion. Keep um, turning on or off, looking back, um, just to see how you're going with it all. And now we have this one here, shadow over baby. You can see it's clipped to the baby layer. So I can add a little bit of shadow into her here. Just to blend a little more with this digital. When you've blended your shadows in and you're happy with how they look, the next step is to change any colours if you need to do that. And you can do that by coming down to adjustment layers and adding a hue and saturation um, adjustment layer. Make sure you clip it in. Because I'm using the actions, I've just clicked on blend the colours. And I'm going to click on the colour change box here. And I want to change this to red. So you can see here, um, this has made it purple. Just painting away black and white brush, making sure I don't click on the skin. Next up on this colour change layer by LSP is you've got to click the icon here. Brings up the hue and saturation box and you can change this to any colour you want. So I'm going to go for red. And bring that saturation up too. And because this is a lighter colour, it looks quite bright. So what I'm going to do is come on the darken layer. Grab the brush and just darken this down a little. Just so it matches more with the tones in the image. You can come back and change these at any point. Make it slightly orange, baby. And they're all non-destructive. Because you've added baby as a smart object, it means uh, the resolution of this baby is fully intact um, right up until the point that you save. I'm going to add a little bit more darkness to um, here with a white brush. Just really rich in this one up. So once you're happy editing, um, and your happy baby is in. Get rid of the actions. You can decide whether you want glitter or not. You can turn it on or off. You see there, before or after. You can at any point come in and um, move the baby about if you need to. You can resize the baby. Um, absolutely anything that you want to do, you can do. Um, right up until the point you flatten this. I'm going to add a little bit more darkness here and some shadow. There's a shadow there. When you come to save, come up here to file, save as and choose a JPEG file for your clients. If you want to save the layers, save it as a PSD file, but give it a different name. So that's a video tutorial using the LSP Buckets of Joy um, Christmas Photoshop Digital Backgrounds by Anna Brandt. And you can get these at www.lsp-actions.com If you want to watch the other faster tutorials, you can do that. They're on YouTube. They're also on the uh, the Buckets page on the website. So you can watch all the other tutorials too. They're not available with your download, but you can watch them at any time online if you want to. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.